Brian with Simply Comfort. We're going to be working on a boiler today. Um, it's actually bad boiler. It's not working. You can hear the pump. Um, we got a bad circulating pump. Tight space. This is our problem. We're going to be changing this bad boy today. So, first thing you want to do when you're doing any type of work on boiler or service or anything is you want to make sure that, um, or you're changing anything, make sure that we cut the power. So, we're just going to go to the main breaker box and cut off the power. Next thing I'm going to do, or we're going to do, is disconnect the wiring, the actual wiring from the pump. Yeah. You see here it's kinda dark, but you know this is this is the best that we can do right now. So we're gonna take this left this top off right here for the pump and disconnect those wires from it. Here, it has 120 volts going to it. You can always tell that because we have a black wire, a hot, and a neutral coming in here. I don't know if that's good, but uh, here you go right here. We got black and white. It's neutral. That's 120 volts. So we're just going to disconnect those. Now, a lot of people, yeah, everybody do it different. This, this pump has been in here for a while. So... What I want to do is, I want to just, for me, I like to have good connections, so I'm going to just go ahead and cut those. That way I can make sure I got clean connections and everything when I'm running the pump I put for the new one. Next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to make sure that we just pull these wires out of here, though. The supply line or voltage, we're just going to take this little whip off of here. Now, honestly, ideally, this whip is like this. So I would change it, but we don't have one right now, so and they didn't they didn't want me to change it. So we're just gonna go ahead and change the pump and, and leave it at that. You know, customer is always right. You know, you won't give our best professional advice, but ultimately, if we can save the customer money, you know, that's what we want to do. You know, also notice here, and I forgot, they have a uh, ground wire here, so we need to take that off as well. And just slide this little ring off here. On this pump, they actually have a extra switch. Uh, I could, you could take, turn that off too, but it's not really necessary. I already, we already turned off the supply voltage. And in my case, I don't like to lose parts, so I'm gonna put that ring back where it belongs. It's the easiest way for me to keep up with it and you know remember where stuff is or where it goes. Um. Probably should have did this before you don't know, touch the power, but um, we also want to shut off the valves. 